Thank you. The Topeka Area Sports Commission has been busy planning, learning and studying even while bringing a variety of events to the area. Their executive director, Mike Bell, is here with the update. Mike, glad to have you here. Thanks for having me. So I think last time you visited this show, you were talking about the survey that was going out in late 2023 to kind of get a sense of what was happening, spending habits, travel habits. Results are in, huh? Absolutely. Uh, late late 23, we did that uh, that survey. Got a little over 1,200 people that actually responded to our survey. Uh, pretty good sampling of our community, and those uh, those 1,200 are traveling, and they're mm. traveling for a lot of different activities and outside of our community. So uh, really, that economic outflow is what we wanted to find out. And you know, I can pull one example of uh, there were 248 families that answered just baseball. Now, if those families traveled one day outside of our community, that's about $60,000 that just leaves our community that could have been spent here in Topeka. And not only that, you know, we've got people that leave the community and, and just can't participate in things that we have. So fun events in our community that we have and also maybe volunteer for an event down the road. What are some of the successes though? Because on the one hand, you say you learned that, but we also hear that we do have a lot of softball and baseball tournaments that travel into Topeka throughout the summer. We can't host every single tournament, but how do we build on those findings and what we already have. Well, you're right. There, there was a, a great, a couple great events this past weekend. There was a, there was a race on, uh, on Miniger Hill. It was a, a motor, um, I, I want to mountain like bike cycling, race, yeah. cycling <laughs> event. And that cycling event brought kids from all over the state and they, and they participated. So that was a really great event that they had. Um, and, and, and then we have also uh, boxing at, at the Evergy Plaza. Yes, that was, that was crazy. 6,000 so, people. Yeah, so there's, there, there are a ton of things going on in our community. And more in the coming sporting. up. And more coming up, of What course. sorts of things are coming up well, even just in the week ahead? Oh, the, the week ahead, we've got uh, state, state championship uh, softball. We've got state champion soccer. We've got a couple of other things coming up with uh, things going on at Cossover Tennis, you know, a, a real gem of our community. And then uh, one of the big things that I w would was really excited about is the Topeka Trails Association, the Top City Trails Association, is getting ready to unveil their downhill course at the Car River State Park, which will be, as they say, the best downhill race course. For biking? In, for, for, yeah, for mountain biking oh in the state. So that's really exciting. Of course, uh, and pickleball, 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 family park. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there are so many things coming up. Well, this is Travel and Tourism Week. So when you talk about these sporting events, how does the sporting events relate to travel and tourism for the community overall. Sure, you know, every those folks admit they may not even think of Topeka, but everybody that comes to your destination and decides to put a business or whatever always is a visitor first. So what we want to do is really promote traveling to Topeka. Sports is a great way to travel. Uh, you, you've got kids, you can sample what's going on in our community, you can sample the what the locals like, mm -hmm. and uh, just really enjoy our facilities and speakers. That's, that's why travel and tourism is so important. Well, we look forward to hearing how the survey is going to lead to more plans ahead, because I imagine it will. Yeah, we, we will take this and, and use it as, a, as an advocacy piece to look at new projects and, and try to figure out where we can utilize most bang for our buck, I guess you would say. Well, come back in a couple months and tell us what those plans are. Absolutely. We'd love to hear it. And of Absolutely. course, when people are here visiting for a sporting event, they can visit some of our great attractions on their downtime, like the Brown versus Board National Historic Park and the special performance commemorating Brown v. Board <laughs> makes its world premiere that you like that, the flow, makes its world premiere this week. We will tell you how to catch it next. <laughs>